I wanted to make a really quick video about Sam Levinson because The Idol just came out. Um, the controversy is still brewing, still stirring, still going on. Um, I feel like anybody who's done any real research into what occurred um, in pre-production for uh, The Idol knows that some pretty heinous stuff occurred like uh <sighs> okay it just it's upsetting to me it makes me really upset it makes me angry um because what i see happening here was there was a very complex interesting nuanced satire written created we were given a female protagonist, female main character, and a female director was paired and she was matching that energy. When you want the perspective and the gaze to be female, when you have a story like this, having a female director is a good idea. That's not to say that female directors don't follow the male gaze all the time. We've seen, we've seen it all the time with Sofia Coppola. Sofia Coppola notoriously follows a very, very male-centric gaze in all of her directing. It's fine. It's successful. It works for her. That's okay. It's not a criticism. It's just the way that it is. But this entire show is marketed as Jocelyn, Lily Rose Depp, main character. Then, <laughs> when you're looking at everything, you have the weekend, the weekend, the weekend, the weekend. He's pushing himself up to be the to seem like the main character. And you see this kind of power imbalance, like uh I think what happened is basically a takeover. Um the weekend felt like he wanted his character to be more charismatic, more attractive, more alluring. And uh, the female director was not depicting that. Uh, he gets upset, fires her, gets her fired. There's, there's so many logistics that go on when you look at the corporate and the suit stuff that you have to deal with in order to get somebody fired in the industry or call it a scheduling conflict and ask them to leave the project. Um, <clears throat> they were having creative differences she was standing her ground saying, I'm not going to change it. If, if you want me to change it, I'm leaving. She leaves. He, he fires her, whichever. It doesn't really matter. Um, and brings on someone who notoriously has an extremely male-centric gaze. Someone who's going to follow exactly what The weekend wants. Sam Levinson. Piece of shit guy. I don't like him. I don't like Euphoria either. Um, I think I probably will make a video on why Euphoria is so bad. Um, I think so many people are blinded by a very, very pretty cinematography, very, very pretty shots, uh, gorgeous coloring, good makeup, things like that to really understand what the what a perspective is really being shown through the cinematography. I think it's good cinematography. I don't think it's female-centric cinematography. It's not meant for a show or a story where the protagonist is a female. It just doesn't work. You see female directors, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna return to Sofia Coppola because she's such a famous example. Her first film, Virgin Suicides, it is about women, but it's told from the perspective of neighborhood boys. It's told from the perspective of these boys that are obsessed with these girls in the neighborhood. And so it works. The, the perspective works really well for what is being told, the story. It's written that way from the novel as well, because the novel was written by a man and it works. I think that it can work. I think it doesn't work because the show is meant to satirize the relationship that uh, the suits or the powerful people in an industry have over the idols or those who people think are in power, which a lot of the time they are. People have control over their image. They have control over what they do. And for the most part, very rarely is somebody caught in a situation where they cannot do anything, i.e. Kesha, i.e. Britney Spears. And it's almost always legal trouble. So it's, it's, I don't, I think that the story has potential. It's interesting. It could 
really draw people in but then you have this perspective that's been completely tainted by the most boring the most egregious stuff that could be added to the show uh, i think um moist critical on youtube did a really great uh review of the first two episodes in which he talked about how everything that <laughs> everything that was good about the show was what was really nuanced and interesting about Jocelyn, about her mother dying, about her relationship with a camera, being in front of people, being a star, um, her relationship with herself, her relationship with sex. That's really interesting. But when you throw in a character like The Weeknd's character and all he's doing is... <sighs> Honestly, I think the Rolling Stone calling it torture porn, not far off. I think it's ridiculous it's so over the top gratuitous i've always felt this way about sam levinson's work as well i think um he thinks he's way more deep than he is it's really annoying there's plenty of fiction that has like really serious philosophical undertones and euphoria is not one of them neither is the idol there's potential there's room for improvement but at this point at this stage there's nothing that can come out in the later episodes that can save this it's it's literally heinous it's egregious it's so bad and um i think d'angelo wallace's video was also very good i'm gonna link uh d'angelo and uh charlie's videos in the description um moist critical was much more lighthearted about it because he didn't care about any of the drama with like the female director being replaced um but like i say justice for amy what the fuck <laughs> amy deserved better um, I think that Sam Levinson takes these really, really serious topics and almost all of them are related to trauma. This past semester for a class, I had to reread the pilot for Euphoria and every single plot point is a child being traumatized and there's no lesson, there's no moral, it is entirely entertainment value. And the ethics of that, like, <sighs> beyond. That does not make sense to me. I don't understand how people can watch it and eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. It feels so... It's like the entirety of the youth, like especially my generation, Generation Z, with people watching this and acting like it's entertainment. I just, I can't get there. Like, especially like the, the first episode of Euphoria in and of itself. And I've watched a lot of season two of Euphoria as well. And it is, it, it feels... And the, and the idol as well, it feels like this really, really poorly disguised, like, kink. It's ridiculous. Like, I feel like Sam Levinson is like, I'm gonna hire the cutest girls and make them do the most heinous shit on camera because it's art. And um, that's not the reason you do heinous shit on camera. The reason you do hate, heinous shit on camera is when there's a moral, there's a reason, there's a message. And I feel like Euphoria completely overlooks that. The Idol completely overlooks that. The Idol had potential. The Idol could have done it. <sighs> Basically, I'm super freaking mad. I think this video is going to be a lot longer than I thought. But yeah, I don't like Sam Levinson. I think that commodifying trauma, <sighs> it really upsets me. I feel like uh, you can depict really serious stuff you can depict everything that happens in Euphoria and actually make it significant and have more impact with the proper dialogue and discussion and filmography. I think because so much of Euphoria is just like, boo trauma, boo trauma, boo trauma, and then literally no recovery time, it's just like trying to desensitize you to this really really serious bad stuff like i i remember when euphoria came out i got to the second episode and i was sobbing crying because i could see the situation that rue was in like she woke she woke up in the hospital and her entire and her family was all sleeping around her and she's like looking at them and realizing that the the pain that she's put them through like i don't feel like the the gravity of what's being discussed in these shows is really landing with people 
and I, and maybe maybe I'm just not seeing that discussion from other people but like to me it's like why does Grey's Anatomy this soapy stupid medical show okay I don't want to disrespect I love Shonda okay Shonda Rhimes icon love her okay why does Grey's Anatomy a soap ABC show do better talking about serious topics than HBO shows. There's no reason for that. HBO has infinite money. They're throwing like millions and millions of dollars at Sam Levinson and telling him to do whatever the hell he wants with it. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Whatever. It makes me really upset. I feel like it's it's so much substance with so little meaning that it it loses everything nothing makes sense anymore it's it's absolutely ridiculous absolutely heinous i and i feel like so many people glorify it because of small little things i don't think that audiences are looking at this media with enough criticism with enough perspective I feel like people are seemingly ingesting it and being wowed by the experience which can be fine but being wowed by the experience when it's kids having sex in exchange for drugs overdosing in front of their families slicing their arms open in front of people screaming at them uh being raped by an adult that all happened in like the first episode of euphoria And events like that happening and being depicted in media need to be handled better. So much better. <sighs> because it's not just commodifying trauma. It's commodifying people. It's commodifying humanity. And it's wrong. It's so wrong. So... I'm not going to watch any more of The Idol. I'm not going to watch any more of Euphoria. Um, partially for my own sake. Um, I have a hard time with these topics because they're really, really serious. And I don't feel like they're handled well, as I've made very clear. Um, but I don't know. I feel like other people should also consider doing that. Uh, if not for their own health for at least to keep distance and not desensitize yourself from such serious events that can happen in people's lives. Um, seeing it happen on a big screen does not give you perspective. Somebody who hasn't been through any of those things isn't gonna watch it and then magically understand. True, true. Yeah, me too. He's a POS. Point of service. Want to be in the video? Come here. Hi. Anyway, yeah. I'm very upset. And I don't like Sam Levinson. I feel like all of the red flags that could possibly be waving right now are on display for everybody to see and nobody is looking at them nobody's trying to look they're not even glancing and there are some people i think some of the critics who've been handling this have been doing a great job i think the rolling stone so much respect for that for that publication right now because it's really hard to go up against one of the biggest TV creators at right now and one of the biggest models right now and one of the biggest musicians right now because the three of them are like this. It's hard to do that. And um, I know that they're getting review bombed right now, but I fully expect certain people, a lot of probably Sam Levinson fans to start defending it, um, calling it camp. Um, coming up with whatever excuse they can to enjoy 
this bullshit that he's made. And um, I'm counting down the days. I feel like episode five is where people are going to be like, wait, guys, there's something about the idol. I really like it now. And then by the time Euphoria season three comes out, everyone will have forgotten. <laughs>